Hi, welcome to another unboxing of the Spellbinders Total Package. This one is for December 2021 and a couple of surprises in here. I knew there was a free gift for club members um, which was one of these, um, a random selection from one of these uh, little dies. Um, so there is my free gift, cosy and warm. Um, however, I was very surprised to find this in here. Um, Jane Davenport coloured pencils, magic wand pencils. So um, that must also be a free gift I'm guessing, which I'll have, a, I'll have to have a look up and see what, what they can do and and, and things like that so I can um, use them so as usual I'll take all the big things out and we will that goes with me glimmer here is my card kit of the month didn't have one last month because of logistical issues um, but here is the card kit of the month for December 21 need a pair of scissors scissors please thank you so give that a little open and let's see what we have got in here I do like this bit it's always exciting to see what, what you're going to have um, Okay, so Beauty is Everywhere is the title of the card kit. There's a list of what you get. So, 10 cards and 10 envelopes, 9 pieces of cardstock, 8 dies, paper pad stamp set, snappy frames, butterfly stickers, cardstock embellishments, sequins die cut shapes, foam squares, adhesive tape. So there's my squares and tape and sequins. Snappy frames. So I guess that's for putting, well you can put anything inside them I, I'm guessing, but um, yeah, for if you have any, actually do want to attach any photographs, all different coloured card stocks, little frames, so they're nice, die cut shapes, looks like there's some interesting stuff in here. Some lovely journaling type um, today flowers tags ooh la la <laughs> butterflies oh we're gonna get a bit of cat interference move on thank you uh, some nice black and white florals fans you have a little je ne sais quoi La Via Belle for these. Oh, some nice little dinky. You're my precious, like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Feathers, little hearts, um, more butterflies, balloons. Um, oh absolutely tons of stuff lots of nice nice sentiments um little like layering doily pieces oh lots of sentiments that's going to be good fun working with them so oh i dropped a heart 
then we've also got some butterfly stickers which are um let's have a see that sort of thing. so these are they're like um oh they're on tiny little foam strips and they're like a plasticky kind of um effect stamps all ties in with the bird cages the keys the little sentiments butterflies um i like these they're like cardboard stickers or card stock embellishments i think they are um write your own story that's lovely that is uh that one there write your own story choose joy got some fabulous things a little note to tell you that bit won't focus for some reason um that's that one and there's the 10 cards and envelopes all in a white textured card and play and some plain white envelopes um paper pad let's have a look at this this is always good fun uh, oh we've got some lovely i'm liking the color schemes in here so let's see we've got a nice gray with a bird with some lovely neutrals and paint and pastel shades oh, some black scripty that's always good for anything isn't it um well that's pretty as well like an, a newspaper print and with roses superimposed on top um nice floral another floral blue floral Oh, nice bricks. They're nice, aren't they? Um, got, oh, that's nice. That's got a real um, interesting texture to it. It's not focusing very well. But, oh, there you go. That's better. It's got a, quite a lot of texture to it, that one. Oops. Um, plain black. Never comes in wrong black and white I like I like all the neutral shades oh that's pretty as well pastel craft stripes and we've got another cat coming to interfere oh that one's got some texture on it as well get your big foot out of the picture get your big foot out of the picture um, a map of Paris Oh, I like that one. That's pretty. It's like a um, randomly sized alphabet. A green Paris. It's very much a Parisian pretty theme going on. And then, yeah, we're back to the beginning. So there's just basically, they're all a repeat. So there's two sheets of every, um, every pattern. Um, so they're really lovely. Let's see what dies we've got. We've got little sprigs. Let's have a look. Nine, eight dies it says. So what have we've got we've got a sprig, a butterfly, a middle for a butterfly, some little flowers, some little leaves. There's the other part of the butterfly, so that's a layering butterfly. Uh, cat's trying to steal that die off me. Uh, <laughs> no, it's mine. It's mine. And then an edge, a border die. What's that one? Uh, more little raggedy flowers, so they'll be quite interesting um, to give a bit of dimension. Put them out of the reach of the cat, hopefully because he's, uh, he's really quite interested to know what's going on in here. And then the colours of cardstock for this month. Oh, nice. 
with an orange, like a an egg, uh, egg, duck egg blue, a pale blue, a black, a pale pink. What's that? Like a creamy colour. Um, a brighter pink. A gold, which never comes in wrong, obviously. And a green. So that's the nine colours of cardstock. That's all going to be fun. So I'm going to just put everything roughly back in there and I'll sort it out later. Just so that the cat can't interfere. Card kit. So then over here we have got all the other bits and bobs. So the this is the clear stamp and die for the month. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters with a little bit of a floral um, attached, which are stamps. Um, the actual, some more florals with again layering so you've got a like a layering stamp so you've got the background colour for whatever colour you want your flower and then your outline flower to go on top colour outside the lines be bold and friend they're all good um, this is the background to fit your letters into and then you've got the cutting dies for the background and all of the letters. Um, so there's nine cutting dies, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, there's seven, there's two in there, two in that one. Um, eight, nine. So, um, yeah, so what you can do. But of course, there's enough letters here to make love you or H-E-L-L-O, hello, or um, ho, 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 <laughs> or hi, you, <laughs> or, well, you know, whatever letters you can make up with that. You can make some some names up like Lee or um, Lou, um, V. So yeah, whatever you know, get your anagram head on and see what see what words you can make up with those seven letters. Um, obviously, you can use any of them as many times as you want to. So um, yeah, that's that that'll be fun. But yeah, you, you don't just have to do love or you or you so you can do hello um vol <laughs> hole yule yule that's one for christmas um so yeah that's uh so that's the small uh stamp and die for the month then we will go to the apg die of the month upside down which is called enchanting pocket card tag and envelope some nice little sprigs and some flowers and then all these d an out large outline some straight cutting dies there and um, and all these embellishment so on the back as usual it gives you some instructions on how to use them and how to cut them out and to make that um, so yeah that'll be that'll be useful if you want to make any little um, envelope or pocket type things for say a gift card or something like that you don't have to make them see-through you can make them just plain or you can also um, 
you can cut out the see-through part but also give it a back in as well so that it, you've got the um the embellishment but it's backed so there's that then the glimmer of the month is botanical crest it's like it looks like a bit of a wonky wreath let's have a look yeah and that is what it is it's like a wreath of mostly foliage um, with the words of oh, wishing you a year of magical moments um, some little flowers a, a die to cut out the sentiment there's a die the outside of the wreath there's a die to cut the outside of the wreath there's also a die to cut the inside of the wreath and then this one here says happy birthday so they're nice little small sentiments the boot all the sentiments have got their own outlined eyes and the wreath has got an in inner and an outer outlined eye and the glimmer foil which came with that this month is um blush which is that color it's kind of a pinky pinky gold kind of color um so that's those ones then the small die of the month is called sketched florals and frames so there's nice there's a lovely kind of um whimsical um with lots of cutouts frame and then lots of really beautiful intricate flowers there um which i'm guessing from the looks of the insides of the die will be perfect if you want to if you like doing like paper piecing and that kind of thing which i don't mind at all um in fact that's exactly what they've done here look they've cut the outline in a dark blue put the center in in a yellow and then paper piece the light blue um all of the flowers all of the flowers there have been done using different colors and paper piecing and that's that lovely frame um so yeah that that'll be fun to use and obviously to make that particular card all of the instructions are here so that's that one and then the large die of the month oh lovely stitched i love stitched dies i love them so much layered stitched background six cutting dies so you have got an outside panel pe panel cutting piece you've got the inside um stitched hexagons which i'm guessing all three of these probably layer up together and then these lovely um these lovely edge like long pieces which are also layering so one goes on top of the other so in fact there you go um that is the example that they've given which is um one layer of black stitched and then a gold and a white layer to sit on top of each other and then topped here by the layer layered edge pieces um and again instructions on the back there of how to use that so i'm gonna have good fun with that because I, I love stitching dies they're one of my favorites um this one looks particularly nice and i'm guessing you don't even have to stitch you don't have to stitch them you can cut them out um back it with something and and you still get a really interesting so maybe you know choose your color scheme say like that one was black white and gold you can make that black you can make the next layer white or gold and then the next layer white and then behind the black piece behind this piece that you have cut out all the holes in you can put a white or a gold um just to back it and then you can obviously the whole all three stack together and then you've got the outside uh, frame to actually cut the the panels to the exact size so that is brilliant um anytime they send me a stitching die i'm over the moon i love them 
because you can do so many different things um you don't have to stitch them you can you can stitch them and obviously every single card that you do with these are going to be slightly different um you know you, and you can stitch only a few of the lines or all of the lines or you can go around the outside of the lines and just leave the because in the these stitching dies also etch um a line to kind of show you what the stitching guide is but you don't have to follow them so you could actually just stitch around the outside and then just leave the embossing on the on the inside um stick a little gem over the top of the middle hole or something so very very versatile so that's super fun um i think I'll, that's what i will probably do for my first project i'm going to use this one i think and then um i'll, I'll probably not one out using these um the uh card kit and um yeah might have a go with the glimmer i think or possibly the apg um just to see oh no cats knocking stuff over um have a look at the at the apg die and maybe maybe have a a try of different permutations of these um little embellished areas and see what they come out like but yeah first one we'll use a large die second one i'm going to use the card kit and then the third one um i mean you can do plenty I, i'll probably do two or three different examples from the card kit and then um yeah i don't know i'll pick one of those three to do as a project this month not sure which but the light's fading, the cats are interfering. That's it for this month. So that is the unboxing. I'll be back with some projects over the weekend, hopefully. Okay, bye for now.